Hi everyone. Whether you are watching this video as part of our Sunday morning worship from home or as part of our virtual Zoom Sunday school, it's great to be able to speak to you. I hope you've had a good week and as we move into September, with many of us now having returned or just about to return back to school, work, college and university, I hope you're gradually getting back into the swing of things. It is really hard to believe that it is now almost six months since we started worshipping together virtually. Prior to the summer, our online children's and youth ministry programme took many forms and I really enjoyed having the opportunity to explore new ways of meeting together and staying in touch with our young people. However, whilst life doesn't look normal yet, and it probably won't for a little while longer. Life also isn't the same as it was prior to the summer period. We are therefore working really hard behind the scenes to adapt our online programme. I will get more information to parents and children soon, but in the meantime, it is great to be able to share with you in this way. Today at Sunday School, we are going to be starting a new series which has been put together by the Territorial Youth and children's ministries team called Explore It. Over the next three months we will be looking at three huge words that form who we are as Christians and outline exactly how we should live. In 1 Corinthians chapter 13 verse 13 it says, so these three things continue forever, faith, hope and love. And it is these three words we will be looking at in detail. Faith, hope and love are gifts from God. The Bible teaches that all three should affect the way we live. Faith is powerful. It motivates us to keep going when everything else tells us to give up. Without faith, we cannot know God. Hope is confidence in God, knowing that he has a plan for our lives even in the most difficult and trying of circumstances. And this encourages us to keep moving forward. And love is the foundation for everything. God is love and when we love God, it affects how we treat and behave towards others. If we put faith, hope and love into action in our everyday life, the way we live will demonstrate that we are followers and disciples of Jesus. We therefore need to look at Jesus' actions and teachings in order to understand what this means for us. Three months is a long time and there is a lot to cover, so let's start at the beginning and take things one stage at a time. Today at Sunday School we start by looking at hope. When we put our hope in Jesus, it gives us strength. We are going to be looking at this morning at the story of when Jesus called his first disciples. They were ordinary people going about their ordinary lives. They had been having trouble trying to catch fish the night before. Then Jesus walked into their lives. The way he spoke, the way he behaved and what he did that day left them in no doubt that he was a good person to be following. It gave them strength, strength to carry on fishing once more and they went on to catch a lot more fish that day. But more than that, it gave them the strength to drop everything at once and to leave the life they knew and follow Jesus. We know that following Jesus was the best thing they ever did. I can tell you that deciding to follow Jesus was the best thing I ever did. So that just leaves us one question. Are you willing to follow Jesus today? If you're are watching this as part of the Zoom Sunday School just now, we are about to watch a video which tells us more about that story. And so, your leaders will now pause this video and switch over to the other one. For those watching as part of our Worship From Home this morning, I hope you've enjoyed a little insight into our children's and youth ministry today. Please pray for our young people. Like all of us, their lives have been turned upside down in the last few months. The rules of social distancing and isolation, along with the closure of schools, the inability to attend clubs and groups, 
not being able to see and have physical contact with close family and friends has been challenging. And now, as life begins to get back to normal, readjusting back to school life when school looks and feels so different. COVID has certainly had its impact on our young people. More than ever, Jesus can provide hope for the future. In Jesus, we can see a way of living a life of love to bring about peace and community amongst all people. May our young people put their faith in him and may we be there to support them and journey with them as they do so.